All right. So some of you might not know who I am. I'm all rugged up because my house is freezing right now. So I look a bit weird with all this black happening. Um, so I'm Kim. I am one of the national marketing directors in our business. Um, and I am joining forces with Naomi O'Hara, which who is a, our newest um, national marketing director in our business. And we have just come back from the USA International Juice Plus Conference. And it is absolutely mind blowing. We have so much we want to share with you. It's honestly one of the best experiences I've ever had being a part of this business. And I'm going to keep my part really short and sweet because it was Naomi's um, time to shine at this conference. She got to stand on stage in front of almost 10,000 people to share her journey. And I know she's had so many amazing aha moments throughout the event. So I'm going to let her um, give you the bulk of it. But I want to start by sharing just the two top things that I took away. I took away so much from the conference, but there was these two things that stood out and I like to talk a lot about just one thing. So I'm going to narrow it down to two things. So I hope you have your pen and paper ready because um, for those you know who don't know me, I've been in the business, it's coming up to four and a half years and I love that I can continuously learn new things from this. And I got to see so many different speakers at the conference and it, it was really interesting because my biggest aha moment actually came from when um, some Australian speakers went up. So uh, most of you will probably know Kira Westwick and Brian Marsh, who are two of the fastest growing uh, businesses in the whole of Australia. They're incredibly inspirational with the hard work that they do and what they have achieved. And they were on stage. They actually presented for um, Australia and Oh my God, it was, it was just epic. So the first thing is, and actually they, they touched on this and also this another American speaker touched, um, we talked a lot about this and I, f I found like it was a bit of a theme uh, throughout the whole event and or the whole conference. And it was bringing back, well, for me, it feels like I need to bring back the three-way call. So can I get, can you pop in the chat? Do you know what a three-way call is? If you don't know, Pop that in the chat too. I want to know if you've been using them. Do you use a three-way call? Is it something that you've been taught? Is it brand new to you? So when I first started, it was all about the three-way call. And what the three-way call is, you get one of your uplines that you know is going to, you feel is going to relate best to your potential customer or team member. And you hook up a three-way call on your phone for your upline to talk to that potential for you. So they're doing that third validation. And I used to do this all the time. And I know I went through a phase where I stopped doing this or stopped um, giving, uh, opening up opportunities for my team to use me for third validation. And I was like, oh, it's so simple. It's bringing it back to basics, using the three-way calls. Um, and what's really cool is we have the three-way, you can do group chats on Facebook, but the three-way call is so simple or three-way Zoom. And guys, if you're not doing them, start doing them. It creates that connection. It, your upline pretty much does that work for you once you've connected the conversation. So that was one of my biggest, one of the two biggest things was get, really get back into doing lots of three-way calls um, or three-way video chats with the team. Um, and the other one, and I'll, I'll absolutely love this, is Kira Westwick said this, and I've heard her share this so, so many times, but I've never really listened I guess it's never really sunk in and this time it really sunk in and she stood up there um you know she said her biggest thing for herself was to to be so successful was believing in herself and I've always thought that I've had self-belief and I know that I have had some form of self-belief to, to achieve the goals that I have already um and you know to keep me going in this business but it really hit home and um sorry dave so stop distracting on the chat dave <laughs> um, yeah, believe it in yourself and her passion behind just self-belief and i'm like if i actually completely 100 percent believed in myself that i could achieve the goal i set out i know i can do it and it actually it lit this fire in my in my belly i actually started to get tingly and i'm like that's the answer uh, you know, the product's so simple, the business is so simple. There's so many resources. 
the one thing that I am lacking and why I'm not getting to where I want to be right now is I actually do not believe in myself enough to get me there. I keep putting up excuses and whatnot. So that just, it, it just blew my mind. So I don't know if anyone else can relate to that or if anyone else here, you know, you're watching and is this the thing you're lacking right now? Because at the end of the day, it really does come down to our self-belief. Like, do we believe that we can do the action every day? Do we believe that if we do the action, we're going to get the results? So that was, it was just, that was life changing. Um, and it's so, so simple. And, um, you know, we have, they say that the four beliefs in this business, if you are new and you haven't heard them, is what's your belief in the product? What's your belief in the business? What's your belief in the industry? And finally, what's your belief in yourself? And even if you have all the first three down packed, if you don't have belief in yourself, you're never going to grow. So I was like, I need to grow my self-belief. And that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so I wanted to keep that really, really short. Um, but it was, it was the most epic conference. Like almost 10,000 people was my third American conference. I went when I was only two years into the business. I saved up. Um, I was so broken. I just made that effort to go. And it just, like, if you, can, if you can commit to yourself and make that effort to go to an international conference, like, it is absolutely mind-blowing. And that's international. We've got the Perth conference coming up and there's, there should be no excuses on why you can't go to that because that is epic in itself. But anyway, I can ramble all day. I'm just going to find Naomi. <laughs> um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to pop it in the chat. And I'm going to unmute the beautiful Naomi who, oh my God, I'm just going to let you take it away, babe, because I know you've got lots to share. <laughs> No worries, babe. All right, I'm, I'm just going to start this off by saying um, I'm, I'm just going to share a little bit of a face palm moment. Two hours ago, I sat down at my computer. I was all frantic and everything. I was like, oh, I've got to get on. I've got to get on. Team training starting because obviously, like, I'm two hours ahead over here in New South Wales thinking, you know, the six o'clock time frame. I am that out of sync with, like, the time zones at the moment. I was just like, oh, my goodness, I've got two more hours. I'm being so ridiculous. So, anyway. I can't guarantee what's going to come out of my mouth right now because I'm a little bit all over the place, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I've also been up since about 4am this morning, which is so not me. I'm not a morning person, but just with the whole body clock thing. But yeah, you've got to kind of get back into normal routine, having little kids. So anyway, here I am. And um, yeah, I like US conference. This is my second one. Obviously um, my, my first one was last year in Anaheim and I just loved it. And I, I was there just for the sake of being there. It was my first conference since being in the Juice Plus business. Um, it was before, yeah, it came up before an Aussie one came up since joining the business. So I was just like, I want to go because I was so in love with, with Juice Plus overall. So I needed to experience it. Um, and I did and my mind was blown. And then this year being able to go as a national marketing director, it just took it to a whole other level. And um and so I'm just going to go in with like what a few of my takeaways are. I, to be completely honest, the first day I kind of didn't take much in because I had all of Friday and then I was getting up on stage Friday, like late Friday. We were the last speakers on the Friday. So I, I really didn't take much in on the Friday because I was just like, oh my God, oh my God, what am I doing? <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I, I did go back and like go over some notes and things like that. But the most important things that I took away, which are completely relevant to us and, and Juice Plus business as a global business, because there are some, you know, different things depending on what country we operate in. But one thing that the, the, the Americans are really, really strong in is their dependency on the research. So, you know, we have this incredible company that invests so much time, energy, money, resources into providing us with this bulletproof, bulletproof research that we can rely on. Like we can come into this business and operate a successful, you know, this, this incredible business as people that don't know anything. Like we don't need to know, you know, anything about science, anything about nutrition. We don't need to be doctors or dietitians or anything like that. The information doesn't have to come from us. We are provided bulletproof resources to rely on um, to go out into the world and share with confidence and conviction what we have. All we need to do is share our story 
and anything else, anything that anyone can throw at us, we have that shield around us because of the research, the decades of research that no other product in, in the world has to back it. And that's why we can go into the world without any doubt. And that was one thing that I just think that, that the US market does really, really well because they literally go into every conversation with certainty. Like they go, and it can be a little bit of a cultural thing as well. Like I found that, pe you know, the Americans speak with such confidence and, and all that kind of thing anyway. Like they're very, they seem very animated and outgoing and, you know, what you see on TV is what you get kind of thing. That's how I, that's honestly how I felt because I'm a little bit more of a reserved person. But, um, but when it comes to this business, like it's a good thing because they do speak with such certainty. And, and you know, we hear this in, in our business where, in any conversation, the most certain person wins. You know what I mean? So when they're talking with such, um, you know, confidence in the products and in the business and in the industry, that's unshakable. And it's okay if the other person says no. It's like, um, you know, the few conversations that I had with, with some of the other NMDs and some of the other even just franchisees over in the US was just the fact that like a no doesn't really shake them because they stand strong in what they know to be true. And the fact that the research doesn't lie, the science doesn't lie, like it's there. It, it, like it doesn't take the, you know, some person from across the street to, you know, Google something and find some fact that isn't even true to like bring your business down. Like they don't listen to that stuff. And I think that we can fall into that rut of where we, we can, you know, kind of let doubt creep in a little bit too easily um, and you know like I'm prime example of that but I think that you know sitting in that audience and actually seeing people like um, you know Dr. Mitra Ray and um, I can't even remember who all of the people were now that, that we listened to but the people that were actually the scientists doing the research and you know the people that had nothing to do with Juice Plus prior to um, doing some of the studies but are now so in love with the products and, and the company because of the results, you know, that is like, that's such a steadfast certainty. So I'm really, really excited now, like since getting back where I'm just like, it doesn't really matter what anyone has to say because I've got the proof. I've got the facts, you know, you know, I, like I'm so, um, I'm someone that's has always relied so much on my story and I, that's will always be my number one. And the one thing that could never, ever shape me. But if there was something, if I would come across some, something that, where someone would come at me with, um, you know, anything that didn't relate to my story, then I would feel the shakes coming on. You know what I mean? Because I didn't know how to answer or how to relate to that because I don't have a background in anything. But now I, I just have this real, this new conviction and like Kim said that kind of like fire in the belly where I just know we are backed by an incredible product an incredible company that protects us that shields us because of the quality of the research that they have provided us with that we can go out into the world and run our, run our businesses without any doubt and I think that that's yeah that's probably the number one thing that I really came away from this conference with because um they're, they're just so big on it and I just think that if we if we can all go out into the world and into our businesses here with that same you know confidence and conviction and that same certainty, then you know what's stopping us? There's nothing that can stop us. You know what I mean? Like a no doesn't matter. What that person thinks doesn't matter because our businesses aren't built on thoughts and opinions. It's built on science and proof. So um, yeah, that's probably the number one. The, the other thing that I kind of, and this is more coming from a, a different angle, like something that I think that we do really well that maybe they're just starting to really train more heavily on in the US is everything to do with social media. So about that whole um, attraction marketing side of things and, and building a brand and creating connections that aren't just, um, you know, like Mary Jane Juice Plus kind of thing where it's just more about being real and authentic to you and building a personal business to you um, and incorporating Juice Plus into that. So I think that's something that we're maybe a little bit ahead of the game over here, which is really, really cool. But the other take on that is like um, 
when they now that they're starting to go down that avenue like it's time now for us to really step it up a notch because we are a little bit ahead of the game there so we want to um you know like just i know keep utilizing our strengths and where where we are moving forward with that so i really um i guess commend our leaders that have taught us to build those authentic brands around our businesses and and yeah like it was just they're, they're very different in how they do build business um, and that was like I had heaps of conversations with um, with leaders and stuff over there, and and they're really intrigued as to how we're having the growth over here in Australia, um, and that's that's exciting to me because I just think that in the midst of you know like yes we have these incredible products and we've got our stories and everything, but we're building these businesses that we that are based on our own individual personal values. So it, it caters to everyone, it appeals to everyone, which is really exciting. Um, in terms of like the three-way call thing, it was just absolute, that kind of like staking the ground for me to say, yes, I'm doing the right thing because I honestly do so many three-way calls a week. Um, I know Val is another one like the, you, like Val and Sunny do heaps of three-way calls as well. It's just something that I've done from the very beginning, mainly because I wasn't comfortable in front of a big audience. Like it even took me ages to, you know, get on a Zoom and talk, you know what I mean? Because it was too many people for me. But a three-way call or a one-on-one, -on -one, I could handle that. So that's literally pretty much how I've built my business. Is like I, I would rather do, you know, 10 three-way calls a week, um, you know, with team and with customers and things like that. So and, and knowing that that's just, it's having those relevant quality conversations that end up getting people across the line. And it's just, I think that that's a really important thing. Like don't feel like, which is kind of where my mentality was going, where I was like, it can be time consuming. Is it easier just to do this mass call? But it's really not because it's not quality, not as quality as what you can have with that one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and so, for me, on a personal level, that was just me going, it was just cementing in my mind that I'm doing the right thing, I'm, I'm going in the right direction. So, and it is a personal thing, everyone can build business differently, but that was just a, a little thing that I made a note on. So, um, the other thing is to literally, like over there, they, they genuinely enjoy the journey, like the whole journey of, of you know, going from starting the business all the way through to N&D and beyond. They don't have an expectation. And I know this is a generalisation, but the, the main people that I interacted with, which and I was asking the questions, I made an effort to find out, you know, how people, you know, what their business journey had been like and all that kind of thing. But they don't have an expectation of starting the business and being N&D in a year, not even two years. And the thing is, is that here in Australia, a lot of people are doing it at that two to three time, like year time frame, which is fantastic. We have incredible growth over here at the moment. But sometimes people can quit or get, um, you know, feel like they're struggling because they're not doing it in a year or two years. But the thing is, is that, that can be a really unrealistic expectation. And we stop enjoying the journey. We stop enjoying the process. And over there, they are so in love with the journey people that I spoke to, they just loved it. And they, it took them five, six, seven years to get to N&D. Do you know what I mean? Like, but over here, we, sometimes I think we can just feel like, oh, this is too hard. It's not happening fast enough. But that's not the point. The point is, is that the time passes anyway. What else are you going to do? Fall in love with the process and whatever happens over the next, you know, five, six, seven years, it's like you're going to end up with this incredible business at the end of it with this amazing community and probably the best friends you've ever had in your life. So, it, you know, there's this real thing around falling back in love with the process. Enjoy it day by day, not for what that end destination is and it can't come quick enough, but enjoy that the person, you know, the, the obstacles, the struggles, the things that you have to go through to become the person that you need to be, to be that leader at the end. Do you know what I mean? So it's just... Yeah, like the people that I met over there and hearing some of their stories, they were so grateful for every day, every single thing they went through. Um, and it, it was a real eye-opener for me. Like it, it just really made, it made me really appreciate again 
what we have in this. Um, and I think even for me, like hearing their stories is going to help me relate and, and you know, become a better leader for even more of the people in the team because I want everyone to love this journey. I want everyone to love this business as much as I love this business. Do you know what I mean? So it's just like, yeah, like just falling back in love with the, the process or learning to love the process and it's just not all about that end goal because it's just so much. This, this is a lifestyle. This is just, you're going to get so much out of this and it's just, it's not about just going, you know, starting day one and in a year being there and it's just, it's, that's not what it's about. So I know I'm all over the place here, so I've just got like a whole lot of notes. I'm really tired. <laughs> um, okay. And the, the, the last thing that I just probably really wanted to leave everyone with because it, it really is a completely incredible experience being in another country being recognised and called by your first name by people that you have no idea who they are, um, being put almost on a pedestal at times because they, you know, they acknowledge that you are part of a greater team and a greater movement and a greater mission um, is, you know, we're part of a company that wants to acknowledge us, that wants to recognise us, that wants to reward us. So claim that right, claim the right to be on these retreats, to be on these all expense paid, you know, holidays, to be, you know, up on stage being recognised. It's there for you. So claim that right to be up there, you know, being part of it all. And, you know, like I know that we can have, we can be so full of excuses, you know, like I'm a mum of two small girls. To go on this, like I was away for 12 days and my husband came with me because he's also part of the business. Now, my mum and my stepdad also came away with us because they're part of the business. So, all of a sudden, I was left in a, in a position where I could have easily had the excuse of, I've got no one to look after my girls. I can't bring my girls with me. That would have made the trip even more difficult and probably out of our budget. So, you know, like it, it's just about, I, I knew that I wanted to be there. It was on my vision board. I was going to make it happen. And I made the decision just to say, no, I'm going to make this work. And we found someone who was a good friend of ours that was willing to look after the two girls for the 12 days. I'd never left the girls with this person for 12 days before, but we did lots of babysitting in the lead up and all that kind of thing. And I just, like, there's always going to be some kind of an excuse. It can be financial, it can be time, it can be family, it can be anything. But the point is, is that, you know, this business can end up becoming this ultimate freedom lifestyle and we get so trapped in the I can't I won't you know what all whatever excuses that you can come up with um, but the point is is that through this business you can literally have a lifestyle of where you're you're traveling as many times as you want in a year and you are you know like you're providing for your family in a way that you never thought possible before there's so much opportunity it's you don't have to be you know sort of confined by that whole mentality of that nine to five restriction, you know, all that kind of thing, you know, like we, we hear it all the time, but it's just opening up your mind and you've got to step out. You've got to take the chances. You've got to trust that things will work out and they do. They always do. And I've done it probably two or three times now and it's scary as hell. I can tell you that it's so scary when you just, when you do take that chance, but it's so worth it. And things just align, things happen, things work out. Um, and so, yeah, I just, uh, that end thought is just really just claiming your right to, to being part of something that's so amazing, so special because it's there waiting for you and the company does want to give it all to you. So that's probably it for me. I just, um, yeah, research first and foremost. Um, yeah. And then just making the most of this because it's all there at your fingertips. And you just have to plug in and, and get moving. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Love it. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Naomi. Oh, you're going to be able to sleep well tonight. <laughs> Who love that? Can we give Naomi some love, please, in the chat? That was incredible. Um, I think we both were talking a mile a minute like then. So I hope you guys all got those notes down. This is recorded. Um, and I did, I did miss something and I'm so glad we have a little bit of time left um, to share because 
it's do you know do you know what it is? It, it's so amazing that every single one of us so you have your opportunity you know to be on stage to be recognized for hitting the top level and whatnot but do you know what's even better is when you get to see your team on stage and like you know i i, I got to share last year in um the usa and it, it was incredible but it was even more incredible this time around being up there watching naomi share her story and just look back from when we first met online what two and a half years ago i think <laughs> and knowing her that long and seeing the growth and the journey and and it's not just about the person who gets to NMD. We are all in this business together. We are all on our own journeys. And whatever level we want to aim for, it's just, it's just a title that they put down for you to have a goal. But whatever, wherever you want to be in this business, you are so loved by your uplines and your, your leaders who just want so much success for you. And it's when you're at times like these, when you're at the conference and you see your girls, or sorry, your team, <laughs> Most of my team are girls, so that's why I say that. Um, you see your team on stage getting recognised for their hard work. It just, that, that's where, you know, oh, I don't know how to explain it, but you, you get the tears in your eyes, you get that butterfly overwhelming feeling and it, it's, it's really incredible. And um, I know, I don't know. <laughs> You can see where we're going with this. And I know all of us NMD, all of us leaders here who have had other people on stage, a downline on stage, it's the best feeling. So um, I do want to, I'm going to summarise quickly because we raced through heaps of stuff for you and we've got about five minutes left. So if you missed anything, I'm going to go over the dot points that we went through. So the first one was ask for help. Go back to basics. Use your upline or your upline leader, whoever you work with the most, and get them in front of your potentials because you are going to then learn how they talk to them and then you're going to get the confidence because you're, you're watching and you're learning um, and using that third validation too. We have so much research. You don't need to know the research. If you want to be like me and read it all, go for gold. So you do not have to know it, but knowing that it's there, it builds that, you know, that, as Celine from head office says, it gives, it's like that armour, that shield. Um, Building a personal business. I love this, what Naomi said. Because um, don't we learn this, guys? Share your lifestyle. Juice Plus fits into our lifestyle. Style. People follow you. So, and, and Juice Plus works in, for so many different people in so many ways. So be your authentic self. Allow yourself to be your authentic self. If you want to be the health freak that absolutely loves embracing the full wellness lifestyle, do that, share that. If that is not you, be real, you know, be that person who is like, you know, it's eight o'clock at night. I am craving some chocolate. I don't even care. It's a Monday. And in the morning, I wanted to have a good health routine. It got to eight o'clock at night and it's out the window, whatever it is, you know, be, be your authentic self and share how Juice Plus fits into your life and makes your life better. Um, generally enjoying the journey. And it, that comes along with it. When you get to be yourself, you genuinely enjoy the journey. And I don't know if anyone else has experienced this, but I know there's been times where I, I have stopped loving the journey because I've put so much pressure on myself and expectation on myself to get to certain levels. I'm just using myself as an example here. And when I let go of that, I started to fall in back in love with the process of it. Um, so that's really, really cool. And yeah, no, no pressure, no comparison or expectation and it, it's so easy to compare yourself. You know, you're probably listening to Naomi right now thinking, oh my God, I'm so inspired by Naomi. She got to speak on stage. I can never do what she does. She's done this so quickly. She's done it so strongly. Um, she's, you know, I don't know, all of the things, right? Don't compare yourself. Every person, every one of you is individual and on your own journey, as we said before. And, you know, comparison is a thief of joy. And that's where you lose the fun. So stop comparing <laughs> um, in, uh, enjoy the process embrace the challenge yep uh, claim I love this claim your right to be rewarded I quote Naomi on this one every single one of you is guaranteed your promotion or your goal as long as you tick off the requirements it's not like you can never not get it 
So if you want to go to retreat, if you want to get, you know, all expenses paid, leadership events, um, or whatever it might be, you claim your right. You can get it. It's there for you. You just work hard at it and tick off the requirements. And there will always be an excuse. I love this one. Who has excuses? We all have excuses, right? I'm tired. I'm tired. The kids, I need to look after the kids. Or I have to go to my normal job and then that makes me tired. So when I come home, I just want to rest for the next day and not work on my future empire. You know, all that. All excuses are equal, guys. And it's up to us where do you want to let the excuses win or do you want to win? Because I, and most of you who know me, I'm very honest and upfront. If you let your excuses win, then you personally lose in this business. And I, I know that's hard. It's quite tough to hear that, but it's so true. Turn your excuses into your reasons of why you need to grow this so your life can absolutely change. Because that's why we're doing this business, right? To change our lives. Um, and the last one. Believe in yourself. What is your affirmation every morning when you wake up? I believe in myself. I believe that I can achieve this next goal. I believe that I can get on the phone and have that conversation with that person on my chicken list. You have to believe in yourself. That's right, Tab. I can do it. You can do it. What you tell yourself is what you believe. So what are you telling yourself every single day to grow this, to do this business? to get you motivated, right? We believe in you. We believe in you so much. It, we want it to like seep into your skin and into your body so you believe it too. Um, so please, please, please focus on that belief. Grow it as best you can because, you know, you, you deserve the life of your dreams and I know it sounds so corny, but growing this business and the financial Freedom, independence that comes with it really does give you that incredible lifestyle. So, and we just want that for you. Anyway, that's it. We're done. Does anyone have any questions? I know I'm not tired anymore from all that, Naomi. I don't know if you're like. Hey, I'll just. <laughs> I'll just. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll just quickly add like another yep. element to the whole three-way call thing because they actually did a whole segment on three-way calls. Mm on stage at conference, like with role plays and everything. Like it was, it was pretty good. Um, but like the whole thing with it is that in the beginning, when you first join the business with three way calls, it's a great learning tool. You learn verbiage, you learn how to talk, you learn how to phrase things, um, you know, all of that kind of thing. But just because then down the track, you might feel like you know the answers, like someone asks you a question and you actually know the answer, it doesn't mean that you stop using three-way calls as a tool. I still use three-way calls now. If I go into like a, a conversation with a potential, I use it purely for the validation. And it doesn't even have to be an upline. Like sometimes I'll use Kim, sometimes I'll use a downline or a sideline. It's just about having that validation in the conversation because it's just, it, it puts strength and power into whatever information is coming out. So don't feel like, you know, like find the person or find someone that is going to, that you feel will relate to your potential. Um, and, and just because you know the answer and you can just answer like that, you know, by snapping your fingers, doesn't mean that you, sh you should be the one that gives the answer or gives the information. Like bring someone else into the conversation and, and make it just this great conversation. Then. And obviously, you know, I find that, conversation flows better when there's say three people on a zoom call or even in in a in a chat you know like through messenger um because there's just i don't know it, it just flows better you get more information out there's more validation there so it's just it's a great learning tool in the beginning but then even when you feel like you know the information or you know the answers don't stop using three-way calls or three-way chats as a tool keep going with it it's it's a great tool regardless of whether you know the information or not so yeah that was just the other bit that i wanted to add in no that's perfect that's perfect and guys never ever assume your upline is too busy to help you and if your upline is too busy to help you where do you go next to next upline or someone a downline or sideline you know reach out and ask for help there's so many times that i get team members that say oh i know you're busy kim and i feel bad for reaching out hey guys guess what 
especially at NMDs, we do this full time. Juice Plus is our full time job. So we have the time to help you. That's what we're here for. So please always remember that. I used to, and you know, the uplines, my, who are they? Carla, Abby, and um, Val are on this call. Now they know I talk to them so much, probably too much, but I was like, I want, I want your help. <laughs> I want to learn everything. And I just constantly reached out. It was one of the best things that I learned when I started this business. So cool. Anyway, guys, well, we're about to get shut off in two minutes. I hope you absolutely loved it and took away so much from it. The recording will um, go up on the Team Coconuts YouTube channel um, and your leaders will probably share the link anyway in your team groups, which will be really cool for you. Do we love it? Can I get a raise to the ceiling? Raise to the ceiling, raise the roof. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, we will talk to you later. Bye.